Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to quickly position a camera in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and for this example, I have my camera and then I have my text layers and my background layer. Now, it is important to point out that all four of these layers are 3D. In fact, let me show you how they look in 3D. So right now, they're kind of spread out on the Z axis. So right now we see the background and one, two, and three, and then my camera. Okay, let's go back to where we were. All right, so let me show you how to quickly frame up your shots. For example, what if I wanted to zoom in right into that one? How do I do that? All you have to do is just make sure it is selected and then go to view and look at selected layers. You can either click on that or use this keyboard shortcut, which is control alt shift backslash. I like using keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna select this one and do control alt shift backslash. And when you do that, it's gonna frame it up. You can do the same thing for two, control alt shift backslash, and the same thing for three. Or you can select all of them. Or if you don't wanna select all your layers, you can just go view and then look at all selected layers. And when you do that, it's gonna frame everything you have in your composition. So let's do a practical example here. So I'm gonna select my camera here and hit A to reveal the point of interest and then hold down shift and hit P to bring up my position. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning of my timeline here, set some keyframes, and I'm gonna select this one and do control alt shift backslash to zoom into it. And then I'll hit a C key to toggle through my camera tools and I'm gonna to go to this track Z and I'm gonna pull out a little bit. So like this, and since I already have my keyframes, this shot's already set. So next I'm gonna press shift page down to go 20 frames on my timeline. And then I'm gonna frame up a second shot. So I'm gonna select this two and do control alt shift backslash. So now I've zoomed in into my second layer here and I'm gonna hit C again to toggle through my camera tool. So I'm gonna go to track Z and then pull out again. So something like this is good. And then again, I'm gonna do shift page down a few times. And this time I'm gonna select the three and do control alt shift backslash. So now I've zoomed into my last text and I'm gonna pull out again, something like that. And I'm gonna fix this up. So I'm gonna do control shift F9 to do easy ease out and then select these two and do shift F9 to do easy ease in. And then I'll select these two and hold control and click on it. Okay, so I have a quick look in animation here. Now I can fix it up a little bit. Maybe I'll select these two and do control shift K and adjust my velocity. So I'm gonna do 75, maybe 75 for this. Again, 75, and probably like what, push this back a little bit. So let's preview this. So you can definitely see how useful this can be. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.